As part of a broader initiative, Washington is reviewing its military assistance programs in Europe and Asia. The withdrawal of the allocation to Greece is a strategic move that may be deemed necessary given the pressing defense needs in the Southeast Asian region. The Philippines, as a long-standing US ally, is in a position to receive additional combat capabilities to address regional security challenges. In a surprising turn of events, Rumors have emerged that 62 Bradley IFVSs originally allocated to Greece could now be donated to the Philippines at no cost. The development has sparked significant discussion among military observers and defense analysts. The Bradleys, known for their battlefield durability, were reportedly rejected by Greece due to technical issues. However, the rejection could potentially open the door for the Philippines to acquire this valuable military hardware. As the rumors began to spread, the Philippine government quickly issued a statement regarding the potential arrival of the vehicles. They welcomed the news as it would enhance the capabilities of the Philippine military, especially in the context of maritime defense. Military analysts in the country have also begun discussing how the Bradley IFVSs could complement the Philippine Armed Forces in humanitarian missions and military operations. The Bradley IFVs is renowned for its robust protection, powerful firepower, and versatility in a variety of combat scenarios for the Philippine Army. Acquiring 62 Bradley IFVSs will greatly enhance the armed forces of the Philippines' protective mobility and operational defense capabilities. The Bradley IFVs is a combat vehicle designed to carry infantry personnel into battle while providing adequate protection and firepower. Known for its superior mobility and protection capabilities, the Bradley is equipped with powerful weapons and advanced defense systems that make it capable of surviving intense combat. The transfer of 62 Bradley IFVSs to the Philippines at no cost is likely to shake up the power map in the region. With the situation continuing to evolve, all eyes are now on Manila and Washington, eagerly awaiting how this move will be implemented and its impact on regional security. The Philippines may be at the forefront of this change, and its military capabilities could change significantly in the near future. This transfer, if true with formal communication from both parties, may not only benefit the Philippines but also reflect the US commitment to supporting its allies in this increasingly complex region. The presence of reliable armored vehicles such as the Bradley IFVs is expected to boost the morale and confidence of soldiers, which in turn can improve their effectiveness and cohesion in battle. While this news has not been officially confirmed, the potential acquisition of the Bradley IFVs for free has attracted great attention if it materializes. As the issue develops, many are curious to see if the Philippines will actually receive the Bradley IFVs and how it will affect the country's defense capabilities. If the rumors prove to be true, the Philippines could soon enter a new era with a significant increase in its military strength. The Bradley IFVs not only serves as a troop transport, but also has the advantage in terms of fire support. With an arsenal that includes multiple cannons and a missile launcher system, the Bradley can provide direct fire support in the field, helping to create a tactical advantage for the Philippine Army. In addition, the modern communication and surveillance systems will allow for better coordination among military units. If the transfer does materialize, it could be a major milestone in the Philippines' defense modernization efforts that could offer a substantial boost to the country's military might at a critical time as the situation continues to evolve. Defense analysts, military enthusiasts, and policymakers alike are closely monitoring the developments. Should the Philippines secure these Bradley IFVs, it would not only mark a significant upgrade in the country's military capabilities but also demonstrate a commitment to strengthening its defense posture in a rapidly changing world. With the increased defensive capabilities of the Philippine Army, there is expected to be a positive impact on security stability in the Southeast Asian region.
A more capable military force will not only increase deterrence against potential threats, but also contribute to humanitarian and disaster relief efforts. Bilateral and multilateral cooperation with allies, especially in the context of maritime security, will also be strengthened by this increased capability. The acquisition of 62 Bradley IFVs by the Philippine Army marks a new chapter in the modernization journey of the country's armed forces. With enhanced mobility, protection, and operational capacity, the Philippines is better prepared to face future security challenges. This move is not only in the national interest, but also to promote peace and stability in the wider region.